Well, but just to get back to some of that, because this is important, because there's a lot of folks that I left the profession to teach. Uh, I left the profession of teaching for business, but I still uh, believe in the profession. I believe that it's the most honorable profession. Uh, it's the job that spur that that grows all other jobs, and so I got a lot of youngins that go into the profession. So. I want to be able to encourage them not to burn out and stuff like that. Because I'm out here hustling, but uh, I'm not going to tell everybody to quit teaching. But I want to be an advocate for teachers. And I know if I get rich, then I can make legislators listen to me and help them. But before I can get to that point, I want to know why you didn't quit. Because some child that's going into this. One of my youngies that just graduated from college or something, they about to go in there and deal with some bad kids. They about to go in there and deal with some principals that they don't like. And deal with some colleagues that probably be hating on them. And you dealt with all that kind of stuff. Parents that got out of too. You dealt with all that stuff for 40 years. Mm -hmm. So was it just taking care of us is the reason you didn't quit? Uh, or was it something else that kept you in there all that time? Needing the job was one, one of the reasons I had a family to take care of, and lastly, but you could have well, you could have went and got a job somewhere else, Mom. You were educated, pretty woman, speak well, now dress let well. Let me finish the what I'm saying. Okay. See, I had a passion for it then. I had, I loved uh, putting on plays. I loved teaching up until the very last year, and it wasn't the kid. It was kids with the attitude, they had an attitude because they saw the principal te treating teachers uh, wrong and treating them un not human-like, unhuman-like. And uh, when I saw this, and they wanted to demote me from 11th and 12th grade to 9th grade, because they wanted the kids to pick up what they didn't get in junior high. They wanted me to teach them penmanship and they wanted me to teach them how, well, teaching them how to read was a good thing, but these were ninth graders and ninth graders going through a tradition, a transition that today that was not back in the day. I have to admit, we had better students then because we had better parents then. And today, it's a different world because of different parents and grandparents. Grandparents are not there for those kids like they used to be where the kids could fall back on grandparents when they didn't have the parents acting up. Now, grandparents want to party with the kids and the parents want to party with the kids and the kids don't have any stable root or anything to just clench on to and to have a good parenting figure in the household. The kids are looking for somebody to help them survive, and they find that in gangs or a group. A gang will say they the gang will help me, and they go from we have them at school for maybe eight hours, but they go back from school back to the street because a lot of kids don't even want to go home. And I've had kids to write about not having a father figure at the house and some that had the father figure at the house, but he wasn't a father. He never talked to them. He would he'd go to work, he'd come home, he'd go to bed, get up, and go to work. You you no interaction and no parenting, no conversation, no love there at scene. The love was probably there, of course, but kids, and I picked this up just reading a paper. You get into a child's mind just by letting them write. You learn so much about what's going on with their life and their families and how they feel, how they feel about the world. I, 
and that's where I got the information about them. Kids love to learn. Kids are eager to learn, and they look for good role models. And I would say to any teacher, if you have it in your heart to love a child, and because they are unique, every child is unique, just hang in there if you can and be a good role model. And you just can't be that what they want you to do. You go to school, you learn how to teach, and you, want, you need the freedom to get in the classroom and actually teach instead of somebody coming around with a pen and checking to see if you're up on your feet and if you're looking at Tom, Dick, and Harry's paper to see if they're writing right or if you're talking right and what have you. You need the ability to really get out there and like I could do this in my drama class and that was the end of the day that was kind of a relief I, and teach if you love to teach teach don't let anybody tell you that you can't teach if you want to teach get out and do it be another Joe Clark do it